Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosell. Recently, we've been looking at some ways on Ubuntu Linux of creating a secure optical media, more secure optical media. We looked the last day at adding simple password protection to stuff you're writing onto optical through using a archive building software like 7Z or using an archive like 7Z, I should say. We took this uh, backup MP4, which I'm using as my example here, and we uh, added a password under 7Z and then we actually also split up that 7Z into multiple parts. So what we're going to be doing today is uh, a little bit more, slightly, only slightly more complicated. We're going to be using a um, container building software for encrypted containers. I'm just looking for it in my accessories here called Lucky Luke's. So let's bring over Lucky Luke's. So um, what we're going to do firstly is we're going to build a new container and I'm going to call the container, I'm going to put the container file in my desktop and I can also give it a name. Uh, so I'm going to call this secure CD0124. I'm using a CD because it's uh, quick to make and quick to test, but this would all work for whatever optical media you want, whether that's DVDs or Blu-rays as well. So that's going to be the container file. I'm going to call this device secure CD0124. And what I'm actually going to do is make the container 600 megs um, just so that it is there's room in this container to fit all in one. So this is just a workflow that I'm suggesting, right? There's, as I always say, a multiplicity of ways to do anything on Linux, which is part of the reason uh, people love it, including me. Um, so this is probably, an, I'm sure, is far from the only way, but this will be one way. So right, we what we're going to do now is create this container. And this means that we're going to have a file on the desktop where we can put in stuff um, and it's going to be passphrase protected. Now, I didn't show you one thing, uh, which was that you can also use, actually, let's just cancel this container generation altogether. Um, let's go back to the advanced stage here and you can see that you can actually create a, I'm just going to move that to the bin. You can actually secure it, not just by a passphrase, you can actually use a key file. Um, but we're going to do the simple um, passphrase protection for this demo. So we're doing the container and now we have to give the uh, the, the phrase we want. So I'm just going to call it backup test. I'm going to click on OK. And now we're initializing the encryption and we're initializing the container file. And uh, this should just take a second and then it should be ready for our use. All right, so it's initial, it's in the last stage was initializing the file system. It says we have con created our container. And uh, now I'm going to just unlock this container by clicking on unlock. We needed the pat, we need the passphrase for this, which is backup test. And of course, if you secured it with a passphrase, that would be uh, what, uh, sorry, a key file. That's what you'd be using. So it says we've unlocked it. Do you want to create a start menu en entry? No, I don't see a need for that. So now we have mounted to our file system the secure CD container. So what I'm going to do now is simply go to my desktop. I'm going to take my test secure um, MP4, my test secure MP4, and I'm going to pop that into the container. Okay, so now that is in the container and we can go ahead and actually uh, close the container. And there we go. It, the container is closed. And I, the container is on our desktop. It's called secure CD0124. And I'm just going to put that onto a CD. Okay, I'm in uh, K3B. I've just plopped a CD into my new uh, lovely Pioneer gadget. I'm just going to close this down because it's brought up a second instance of K3B, which we don't need. Okay, so I'm going to go. It's going to be a uh, data project. So it's actually, one sec, I need to click on this. Um, it's going to detect the disk in a second. It already has, it's only 700 megabytes. So create a project. Um, and I'm going to now drop in my uh, file. And uh, we can see that the container is 600 megs exactly, leaving us with 100 megabytes. So we could, if we want to be super sophisticated about things, we could add uh, ECC correction code, ECC uh, data or correction code, or we could add parity data. But just to keep things simple for this demo, I'm just going to burn it as is. Uh, burn and secure CD0124 is being burnt. All right, so just to show you guys as this in progress, really when you're burning stuff onto optical media, 
fundamentally when you're writing anything to anything really i guess you're just writing ones and zeros so i never had any difficulty with the file type but the extension here is a dot bin and uh, it's writing at 10x and obviously as i always say if you are trying to aim for longevity for your optical media go for the slowest speed you can so i would be writing this at 2x if it wasn't just a demo but this will just take a few seconds and we should get our cd burnt all right, so we got up to about uh, 20x speed and we're just finishing this off. So obviously there's actually, there's not really 600 megabytes. I'm in, being intrigued to know on a file level how this works exactly, uh, but there's only less than this data, but we it's detecting, of course, the full uh, 600 megs. And this would be a great little methodology that you could just have this as your encrypted volume. Looks like we're finished now. And uh, you could just add it until it's full. And that way you know that when you add it to your burning software, uh, k3b that it's uh, going to be at capacity so that's finished burning what i'm going to do now is take my secure cd file right this is the encrypted volume here on my desktop and i'm going to bin it what we're going to try do the experiment is we're going to try to pull this out off the disk and uh, unlock it and then we're going to see if we can play the mp4 so i'm going to just uh, reclose the cd reader the pioneer and this will hopefully gonna close down k3b okay so we have the cd detected open in file manager secure 0124.bin reading off the cd it's perfect 600 megs and i'm just gonna copy this onto my desktop and we're copying the files and just close down here and uh, this will just take again a couple of minutes to move this onto the desktop. All right, so we're just finished with that and uh, the bin file has been moved over to the desktop. As we can see, everything's still looking good from a file size perspective, at least exactly 600.0 uh, megabytes. So what I'm gonna try do now is uh, get it connected to Lucky Luke's. Uh, we're gonna bring Lucky Luke's over here and we're going to try to unlock this and access the video. Okay, so I'm just pointing it to the uh, this on the desktop. And I'm gonna call it device name again, secure CD0124, that we're really importing a new uh, device. And then we need the, so far so good, we need the passphrase, which is backup test, checking the passphrase against what's stored there. And good stuff, we have done it. Successfully unlocked the volume. No, we don't need to uh, create a uh, shortcut. And now if I go into my file manager here, in the file manager, we have the encrypted volume mounted, the one that we pulled off the CD. We have backup for content creators. Uh, because it's unlocked, I can take that off out of the encrypted volume and put it just onto my desktop, or I can read it directly from here, but let me just try to just get it off. There we go. And now all I need, the final stage of the testing is playing this back. And looks like we have no problem. It's playing, I can hear the audio on my headphones and nothing wrong with the file. So that's it. Uh, that's a second methodology for creating uh, creating a uh, more secure encrypted volume on your CD, DVD, or Blu-ray, whatever you're burning on Ubuntu.